What's up, YouTube? It's for the franchise guy. We're coming at you again with a brand new episode of Madden 20 Franchise Mode. Yep, Madden 20 Franchise Mode. Another episode of this grand, grand series. I mean, what else do they ask for from this series, guys? Like, we're having a great time. We are moving along. We're just blowing through some of these guys. Just got a power rusher from Alabama, Antonio Alfano. I mean, D line. Not bad, not the greatest, honestly. I mean, we have Josh Allen, who's a monster defensively, okay? And then, the other side of the line, not, oh, not the greatest. We've drafted Jordan Davis. Uh, we've drafted Joe Cazano. Picked up Joey Oseman in our first season. I mean, we have a bunch of guys. None of them seem like they're taking that next step forward, so I don't want to waste a top draft pick on a defensive end. I mean, defensive tackle, definitely, I'd be willing to use a first-round draft pick on, a first-second round draft pick on, just because our defensive tackle isn't the greatest. We're kind of weak at the position. But, defensive end, I'd rather not waste a top draft pick on. Especially when there's other positions of need. Linebacker, I mean, linebackers are not the worst. I mean, Landman took a step forward, definitely. Especially now he's up to a superstar. Not a superstar, actually, just a superstar. I mean, he's taken a huge step forward. So, just the other two, Willikis and Reese, have really not taken steps forward. They're still kind of muttering around at their overalls. I mean, Willikis, we drafted him. He was like a 72 overall when we got him. We got a great cool. There's our linebacker to build our, you know. There's the linebacker we build our um, linebacker cores around. But he hasn't really done much. Landman has taken that step, definitely. But Antonio Brown, 33 years of age, going to be offering him a three-year, yes, I know it's a lot of money, for a very long time for an old player. I mean, three years, 11 million a year. Six and a half times was 52 million over the next three years. Page 36 season, he will be with us in Jacksonville. Please, that doesn't bite us in the butt. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Joe Burrow over here, Superstar X Factor. For some reason, he's freight train. Don't know why he's freight train. Might knock him down to regular just superstar to see if that kind of helps him reset. Because I think he's sitting behind Mariota still. So I mean, I might send him down to Superstar. Hopefully that just resets him so if he does can, you know, get Superstar X Factor again. He can hopefully get a re-roll on that and have it be a different Superstar X Factor. Because he definitely does not deserve Freight Train. Because he's not like a big runner. I don't know. Clearly I don't know because I'm not a dev guy. <laughs> I know everyone's done like all these dev videos and how to get them and what devs do what and all that fun stuff. Me, I just I just play the game. I'm just a basic game player. But Titans, eh, they're an okay team, I guess. We saw them in the opening right there. Nothing really to write home about, honestly. Nothing to be super worried about. Nothing to be, you know, overly frightful. Should be an easy game for us, in theory. But then I say that, and we're going to throw, like, four interceptions. I'll get absolutely wrecked on the O-line. Stuff that, in theory, shouldn't happen. But, you know how the game likes to go. It does what it wants to do, and that's the best I can go for. Punt ETN last week. Big, big week. Nine carries, 186 rushing yards, two touchdowns, long of 65. So, we have another week like that. I'm pretty sure ETN will have will be the rushing title champion this year. Just, just because like he's just a monster. Look at he's got Mariota on the season so far, two for two, or two and two, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Taking the throw line. They still have Luan. That's about it. Corey Davis, Dion Lewis is still there. 
third and one now. Can they get the first down? Could the defense make the stop? Can I hand the ball off to the running back? Number 33, Deion Lewis, and that will be no good right there. Loss of a yard on the play. Nate Landman's in on that tackle. The Landman. Now for Jake Fromm and your Jacksonville Jaguars. Going to go deep to number 39, Travis Etienne. Not much of a pass catcher. Only usually he's been a uh, rushing game. But he, that time he does get a 38-yard reception. Big catch for the running back. Now, first and ten again, going to go deep again, and that will be overthrown. Picked off number 31, but it's Dory Jackson. No, nope, number 31 is going to stumble. He breaks two tackles. And nope, Kevin Bird. Right? Bird? Byard? Bird? One of the two. Get the interception on the Jake from overthrow. But looking now at Jacksonville's defense. Same old defense. Jordan Davis is starting. Reese Landman, Willikis. Decent linebacker core, Fulton, Cravens, Weddle, and Cravon LeBlanc doing their things on the defensive backs. But third and five, and that will be to no man's land right there. There's no one even close to that one. Mariota just standing there looking like a fool because he just threw a ball into to no one. First and ten from hits his target, that's Taysom Hill Hill. Does a little juke, doesn't get past anyone of course because he's Taysom Hill. But second completion on the day, 27 yards up to 65 passing hurts already for Jake Fromm. Fromm now play action, fires, and that's going to be Taysom Hill again. Another pickup right there, another first down, 11 yards, second and two now. Handoff again, Fromm tries to run with it, going to get sacked by Jarrell Casey, his first sack of the game. Alright, third and eight now after that sack, can Fromm move the chains? Fires, hits Josh Corner right there, number 12. And from now over 100 yards in the first quarter, as Josh Gordon does get the 20 yard reception. Gordon had a bit of a turnaround this year. Not super great numbers, but hey, better numbers than what he's been getting. You know, Brown, Dudick, Etienne, those guys. Be the backbone of this offense. But Taysom Hill, can he get in? He does get in right there. Sticks the arm across. First receiving touchdown of the game for Taysom Hill. Now on defense, first and ten. They're going to dump the ball in the back. They're going to juke it right there. And because Madden's dumb and you have zero ability to catch up to players, it's going to be a guaranteed touchdown since he broke that first tackle. Number 13, I believe that's what, Corey Davis? Is that Corey Davis number 13? I didn't realize that big receiver had jukes like that. But... Doesn't matter now, we're back on offense, and Josh Hill, the other, uh, yeah, Josh Hill, that's who that is, the other Hill on the team gets the first down, first and ten, back to the passing, here we go, fires two, number 81, Jerry Judy, and Judy will toe tap that one in for the first down, big catch for the rookie, 19 yards, second ten now, here we go, from, from, Gonna get sacked on that, had B wide open, but Brown gets there to bring him down. Third and 20 now after the sack. Fires deep, can we have a completion? No, it's to be padded away, intended for Jerry Judy. Not, not what you wanted to see right there. You want to see a big completion by, by Judy, but not, didn't get it that time. Now Mariota on first and 10, gets the completion to his tight end right there. And he himself has a first down, who, eh, big pick up and run. Third and seven, can the defense make a stop? Mary Hood have pressured and will be sacked by Josh Allen. Allen's first sack on the game. Fifth sack of the season in week number three already. First and ten now for From. From, put time in the pocket, and just a poor throw, poor read. Did not lead his receiver through to where he was at, not where he was going to be. That's going to be a pick six. Apparently no one can tackle in this game either. But who's that? Number 25 right there. Is that a Dory Jackson? Someone's on the, someone on the Titans is named Dory Jackson. I guarantee it. Don't know who it is, but one of them is. But now Antonio Brown doing what Jerry Judy is supposed to be doing. Pulling down jump balls. All right. Third and 10 now for your Jacksonville Jaguars. Firing deep in the end zone. And that will be broken up. Antonio Brown could not get to that one. Unfortunate right there. Fourth and ten. We're going for it. We're going all out on this one, baby. Going to the end zone again. 
and that one will be broken up yet again. That time was for McLean Mannix, undrafted free agent uh, receiver. Second eight now for the Titans. Titans firing, and number 84 for the Titans. Going to have a walk it in touchdown. Could not get to him in time, but not what you want to see. Not what you want to see at all. Not great. I guess. I don't know. Not great defense. But on third down, Zane Dudek only gets two yards on a three rush minimum play. Fourth and one, handball through Travis Etienne, and Etienne this time barrels over the line. Second and inches now. Back to Etienne. Etienne. There you go. Big. Big pickup right there. Over 30 yards in the game. Only five rushes. Averaging seven yards a carry. Third and four back to ETN. ETN. Not making people miss that time as he only gets a couple extra yards after the first down marker. Third and ten from fires deep. From jump ball. Interception. Fromm's third pick of the game. Not what you want to see from Jake Fromm and this offense. I mean, he's supposed to be out here leading the offense. Not, you know, putting it in shambles because he can't make accurate passes. But Dion Lewis gets taken down by Nate Landman right there. At the Landman just all over the field. Has the ability to play the run, play the pass. He's all around decent linebacker. From back out there, drops back, heaves it deep. And then that will be caught by Antonio. I'm sorry, that's actually Drew Brees. Drew Brees comes into the game late. Coach has had enough of From. After three interceptions, only one touchdown. Let Drew Brees, the veteran, take the reins. And now after that first completion, Etienne gets the ball into the end zone right there. Now 14-21, Jaguars. They're in 13 now, and we'll be sacking Mariota right there. Number 58 right there comes out of nowhere. Gets the sack. Second and seven, Brees still out on the field. ETN rushes for the first down right there. I mean, Breeze, future Hall of Fame play caller, came here to mentor Jake Fromm. Now he's going to be in here in replacement of Jake Fromm. Now Zane Dudick, the UDFA running back out of Yale, gets a first down right there. Three rushes, 18 yards on the day for the dude. Third and one now. Breeze hands the ball off to ETN. ETN will be in for a touchdown. It is now a 20 to 28 game 20 to 21 game I'm sorry thought they scored another touchdown for some reason but this game can possibly be tied up after a made extra point and that extra point is made the game is tied now one quarter turn it around baby and after that Josh Allen comes out of nowhere out of the, you know, the deep deep uh, you know, side of the field sacked Marcus Mariota for a big loss on third down from or Breeze hands the ball off to ETN. ETN now over a hundred yards. Back to back games over a hundred yards. Two touchdowns this game as well. Hands the ball off to Dudik and Dudik gets close to 20 yards on that rush right there. Six rushes for 35 yards over five yards carry. Breeze now fires and Breeze is going to hit Josh Gordon in the end zone right there for a touchdown. It's what you want to see from the veteran. I mean, now after Breeze has come in, we have the lead. 28-21 to 21 lead. Defense coming up clutch right there in first down as Allen has his third. Yes, count him three sacks on the day. He has a hat trick of sack lunch sandwiches. Get the replay on that. Look at that big hit by Josh Allen. Third and 19. Can Mariota convert? And no, he cannot. Josh Allen again and comes out of the side, blows him up seven yard. Was that eight yard loss right there? Eight yard loss. First and ten. Breeze play action. Breeze fires deep. That ball will be caught in the end zone by Antonio Brown for the touchdown. And now we have a two touchdown lead over the Tennessee Titans. We were trailing by two tight touchdowns. At the you know at the beginning of the half, and how in the fourth we are up by two touchdowns, that is a 28 unanswered point swing. Titans rallying though, Lamon makes the tackle on number 86 for the Titans. You know, lucky lucky Lamon caught up to him because that could have been a touchdown for Shan 
for Sh Shahan? 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 I don't know how to say that name. But second and five, none other than Josh Allen comes in for his fifth sack of the game. Allen, a real disruptor over there. Boys have a huge breakout season this year. Third and 13. That will be short of the first down right there. He had to come back for it. Fourth and two now. Can Allen and the defense step up? And that rush will be stopped short of the first down marker. First and 10. Firing deep, Drew Brees is. That will be caught by Antonio Brown. Drew Brees, 4 for 5, 175 yards on the day. Two touchdowns. All right, Brees, can you throw another touchdown? And that will be caught by Antonio Brown short of the touchdown. But it will be a first down, though. Brees, third and goal now. Hands off to Etienne, and Etienne will be stuffed at the four-yard line. Could not make it in for his third touchdown of the game. Brees now hand ball off to Dolan Crows in the fullback. And the fullback goes in untouched. Three touchdown lead. Tenth career rushing touchdown. I mean, Dalton, you are the man. First and ten for the defense under the two-minute warning now. And I'm pretty sure with a three touchdown deficit, this Titans team is now out of it. Third and 20, Allen pressures the hair, ball caught somehow. Number 84 for the Titans catches that ball in the air. Allen brings the pressure again, now on first down. That's going to be his seventh sack of the game, nine yard loss, second and 19. Allen again, sack, flag on the play. Probably a face mask on the defense, Josh Allen. And worst fear is true. Face mask, 15-yard penalty, third and 10. We brought them us to a regular third down. And that's going to be incomplete, broken hump by number 31, Cravon LeBlanc. Third and 10 now for the Jaguars. And Brom now back in, firing deep. And that will be caught by Jerry Judy. First and 10, Fromm play action. Fromm going to roll out, fires on the run, caught right there and thanks to Drew Brees and his magic the Jacksonville Jaguars end up winning this game 42 to 21 413 combined passing yards 145 combined rushing yards on the Jaguars Marietta upset at home not the way you want to do it see from passer ring of 57 Peter to Brees is 156 from under 50% passing you know Brees two touchdowns 182 yards, only on six passes. Rushing, ETN had a back-to-back 100-yard rushing games. Judy Crozen also were productive. Tony Brown, 200 yards. Judy, 77. Taysom Hill, 53. Josh Gordon, 44 yards and a touchdown. You know, Creed Mer Humphrey, a lot of sack right there. Defensively, Josh Allen led the team with nine total tackles and eight sacks. Armbrister had half a sack. Not too shabby for the rest of this defense right here. Tailing off, though, as Punch Play has only had one total tackle in the day. Creed Humphrey has a tackle, too. Good for him. Vinatieri was 6 for 6. Punting Townsend, 1 for 47. Returns Etienne, 3 for 78. And Punt returns 5 for 33 for Travis Etienne. Talon gets an upgrade right here. Gonna upgrade his speed rusher. Maybe maybe some run stuff stopper. Nah, speed rusher make him a 91 overall. I mean, he's now a true 90, which is always a good thing to have. Etn gonna try and bump him up. I mean, gotta get him, gotta get him going. Honestly, 78 overall, just make him a 79 elusive back. It's like, oh, we want him to be a power back. Because Travis Etienne's not a power back though. I'm sorry, like, he's not gonna be a scheme fit running back ever. Willikis coming in here, former captain now uh, belongs to Nate Landman. Gets up to a 74 overall. Prince Tego. Wanna go? Wan o ho I don't know how to say his name. I never learned how to say his name, but Prince over here. Up to a 72 overall. Marvin Wilson, the big defensive tackle. Upgrade his run stopper. Of course, because he's a, he's a defensive tackle and he's stopped the run. Up to 72 overall. And 
last but not least, David Reese can upgrade him to a 70 overall. But if you guys like this episode, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and talk to us on YouTube. Peace out, rock on, and stay super duper classy, I guess.